Welcome back to the Occult Arcade with more Dank and Rampa, also known as uh, Chris and Marvin can't read oh. <laughs> for about an hour. I thought you were, I thought you were <laughs> gonna say also known as Dank and Rampa. <laughs> <laughs> Dank and Rampa, also known as Dank and Rampa. <laughs> it's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? I don't know. It looks oh, cool. That, okay. I did. I thought there was gonna be more and not no, just that. No, it's less. <laughs> okay. What else we got? What's this? Uh, we got like floaties, cool toys. a bunch of different pool-related yeah. items on this shelf. I've never used any of these. Nice. My entire life. Um, is that corn? No, Chris. Do you see that? That is, that is not corn. <laughs> that looks like corn. It is, in fact. That's a really big corn. Not is corn. what that is. <laughs> nice try. You can't trick me. I know corn when I see it. Uh huh. Just like, just like uh, Mondo's head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that a DS? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I, like, "What are you talking about?" And then I look close. I'm like, "Oh, that does look does like look a like DS. DS. <laughs> it really does." Yeah. <laughs> but in the store, is the locker room. Yeah, this is the girls' locker room for the Frau. A true gentleman. We'll respect our space, yeah? Okay. I guess I'm going into the guy's locker room then. Hey, this is the guy's locker room. You can't come in here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and I guess I need, you, I need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Whoa. Oh, no. Really, really. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. If you want to unlock the locker room, I, no, he didn't say unlock. He said unlocker. That, that is what it said. I, I I thought I was being dyslexic there, and I no. just said unlock. No, it actually said unlocker the locker room. <laughs> unlocker. You have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. You mean However, the DS? To insert maximum security within each locker room. Handbook can open the boys' locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Hmm. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? It's probably what the like gun I is for. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? <laughs> And then they'll all be like, tugga, 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 tugga. I bet it hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, of course. I, I, I bet, bet it'd do more than just hurt. Yeah. I bet that would really hurt if I got shot. Yeah, of course it's gonna hurt if you get shot. You got shot. <laughs> Even uh, Velma no. agrees with us. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, but what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? Probably the same thing. A boy could borrow a Frau's handbook, and that would get them into the girls' locker room, would it not? What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! But that is a good idea! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then how's this sound? Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loading your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! This is why we can't have nice things. Somebody had to There! Ask. So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Dang. So if you put him in the washing machine and dry him, he'll shrink. Or at least his brain yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, you know? So that that could be a plan. <laughs> Throw him in the dryer. <laughs> Throw him make, in the make dryer. Make his brain shrink. That's He's what, too dumb. That's what we got to do, boys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ja, I do not imagine anyone would have lent the handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with this locker room security stuff. Mm -hmm. It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you're try- What? You tried- what? Never mind. You're I a little just, off axis there, Monokuma. I'm gonna be honest, you went a little too far. I don't- yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even know what that means. So to keep every, anything seem unseemingly from hap- that's, Words. that's the best sentence I've ever seen. I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then in that case, I would ask you to do the to keep the same close eye on our dorms. 
if some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. Oh, I don't care if that happens. <laughs> oh, what am I? What would I be doing meddling in people's business? <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. I don't care what happens to your private dorms. <laughs> yeah. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. <laughs> a bit much, yeah. I hate you so much. <laughs> okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. <laughs> then why yeah, are you, you in would, the room You wouldn't to want to ruin that deathly pale complexion there. See, actually, she's really tan. It's just a bunch of white makeup. Yes, Chris. That's... Yeah, that's like a mime. I, I, th I think that's what I everyone think... assumed. No. No one assumed that. Until I just said it, because I'm sure. so smart that I figured these things out. Uh -huh. Big brain time. Sorry, I'll, uh, I'll pass this time. What? The girl who's dressed like a pilgrim doesn't want to get in a swimsuit? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy! <laughs> How come when you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it? I wouldn't I know. Don't I just drowned. That's true. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, yeah. Yeah, both of us can't swim. You can't swim? No, I cannot swim. I thought you could swim. What? Well, you see, when I was three, my uncle grabbed me by the armpits and chucked me into a pool. Ah, classic. Yes, without any floaty devices. See, on. when I was five, so that is why I, I went to swim. a swim instructor and he pushed me to the bottom of a six-foot pool and held me there until I moved my arms, quote unquote, correctly. He was fired after this, and I never swam again. I but hope pools he was are sent nice. to prison after that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he looked like Cuba Gooding Jr. Okay, so now I can enter the room. Thank you. It's all about order of operations. What is that Apparently. picture? Uh, whatever you want it to be. What, what do you I want, want that? I want it to be gone. Yeah. Not in my locker room. Thank you very much. Put up a poster of uh, me instead. <laughs> I think it should be me. <laughs> Every room I go into has a poster of me in it. <laughs> a poster of you yeah. lying on the couch with like that no bearskin rug like like paint me like one of your friends yeah there's videos. a bearskin rug that i'm laying on there's a fireplace in the background always that's, that's just... too much editing give me something realistic oh, okay. to work so anyways with. it's my head on a balloon it's my face on a balloon like balloony from phineas and ferb <laughs> sure let's go <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you're the one editing that, I, that picture oh together. No. I'm the one having to put it in. Okay. Fair. You've done this to yourself, uh, sir. It's not even a good pose. It looks like she lost something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like she's lost. Like Velma, and she's with trying the to like search for it. Like, Maybe we should just glasses? put a picture. Maybe we should just put a picture of Velma instead, because it looks the same. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, it would be the <laughs> exact the same pose, really, though. <laughs> that way, when we it talk really about it, would. it makes sense. <laughs> it really would. Oh my goodness, uh, that's great. Hey, it's All right, well, let's leave again. then, I guess. There was nothing in here. Oh, wait, uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, there's a pool. We entered the same doorway and it led to a different place. What? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Sure, Dude. okay. This looks like the pool I was drowned in. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm not A chair. <laughs> I'm not looking at anything. I just walked over here or something. Look at this chair. Why does this keep happening? I like it's I'm moving very to like different parts of the room or something. Okay. Now you're just standing on the water. I am. I am I am I have turned into Jesus. What? <laughs> just walk on water. Apparently. Lockers. That's your line, but who cares? Well, yeah, yeah, I said it. It's I okay. don't think there's anything too important in yeah. this room. So, wait, was that? Why did I have to it's walk really to like two different areas to look at A one locker. thing? Yeah, I feel All like right. when you walk on this floor, it just goes <laughs> kind of a noise. It looks like that. It looks sticky. Oh, oh, I, I think I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is to the third floor? Dang! Why are the stairway- 
Why are the stairwells not connected to each other? I feel like that's a design Shh, flaw. Don't worry about it. No, I'm gonna worry very much about it, in fact. It's not a fire hazard, I swear. <laughs> Alright, what's this place? It's a door! It does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a classroom. The All baby right. is sleeping. Please be quiet. Oh my goodness, and then there's just... <laughs> gorilla. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I should probably take a really close look around. She just really just starts singing. She's like, I love that movie. Yeah. I'm a very big... Did you know I was on Broadway for three years? Oh my goodness. Oh, the library. library. Hey, I love the library. I don't. It's where I spent many years of my life. Uh, I did not. Hiding from other school people. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Okay. Hey. I'm absolutely sucked! Blah, 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 blah. How come? Let me guess, they don't have any manga. Whoa. They have all these books, or that's not the right voice. They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works. That's not at all the thing I thought he would say. Oh, yeah. Why would they have c comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. See, there's the misconception. Um, I mean, th there is some truth in that, but it is not It is not the underlying fact. Maybe. Not all fan I, fiction is... Yeah, is that not but that's, all? that's like the given thing now. What do you like, mean? Like, uh, if I Google fanfic and go to Google Images and turn my safe search off, 90% <laughs> of those images are going to end up yeah. bad. It's the unfortunate part of it. It's is the, it? Yeah, it really is, yeah. No. Not everything... Uh, like, so there's a lot of things like that that used to start out, that started out as something much different than how know, they ended right? up, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. I, yes? Uh, you just don't get it. Not. At. All. I, I, I do, too, get it. And with, with a face like yours, anyone can tell no, nothing you do is worthwhile. I do, too, get it. I look at fan fiction all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author! You know nothing! <sighs> now hear this! Appearance means nothing at all! What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius! What are you, Eggman? <laughs> <laughs> my creations are what determine my meaning and value! <laughs> You're so f full of it. <laughs> hmm. I'm used to being misunderstood. Do you think weak attacks like yours would drop my HP? No, but cringe like that will. <laughs> <laughs> Those two really worry me. Yeah, they're 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 pretty worrying, for for a good reason. Um, what can I? Wow, there's a lot Everything. of Everything. Yeah. What it's can like... I touch? All of it. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. Loan. So. Oh, that's me. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I doubt there's internet anyway. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Books! Oh no, letter? The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a... <gasps> a letter! What is this? <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, so we should what, see what's inside. But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their you, permission. You cannot be serious. Really. I mean, it is illegal. Is right? It's a federal crime. What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Makoto. Okay, looks like somebody was looking to do a federal crime. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. On it, there were words. I was not expecting this. <laughs> what a surprise. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. 
We have a long, proud history of an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? So, I mean, I guess Hope's Peak Academy closed at one point in the past? Yeah. Or maybe it's still closed. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but then... Oh, wait, are you saying, like, maybe the the killer was the one who like said who like gave us the invitation for the school to yeah. come here. Oh, that's smart. See, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking hmm. the whole time. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. That would also make sense with the dust because mm -hmm. there was a bunch of dust everywhere. And so like the, thing... you know, late '90s closed down, Dude, but there's been a guy there the whole time. I didn't even think about that. But I, the only problem though with that is that. People have been assuming that it's still open, though, so... But that letter's in there. It wasn't sent out. So maybe there's more of the letters that weren't sent out. Maybe the sender was also murdered. Are you thinking that maybe, like, we're not the first victims of this psychopath? Maybe Like, not. it's been happening for years? Yeah, given that, I, I guess that would be my idea. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> it would I seem think the Sherlock Chin... Yeah, Scratching the, the, has been helping. Yeah. It, it's scientifically proven to grow your brain. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. <laughs> I like how my first thought was like, the 90s. And then, uh, yeah. maybe a year. How did you tell from the dust that it was only a year old? The taste. Mm -hmm. So you're hope. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Okay, so maybe we are the first people to have come here, but so maybe it maybe wasn't. I'm half right. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't like officially announced. So we still thought it was open. So when they invited us here, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I guess that kind of actually makes more sense now that I think about it. Yeah. I guess dust does uh, accumulate a lot quicker than my brain was for some reason. Expecting. I suppose, yeah. Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put up, put on this little. Yeah, see, he has the same idea. Yeah. But that would mean it closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? Unless they covered it up. I mean. You're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? Before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... Oh, that must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. Ooh. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. These two voices are the exact same. They really are. Yeah. I'm trying to like make them different. I, I I'm not. It's <laughs> not working. It really is not. Because oh. they both have like the same like yeah sort temper. of vibe. Yeah, they me. they both have the same vibe. So it's like really hard to like. Because I'm trying to make her voice like softer and lighter, but it's not working. That does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be nice. Simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. 
The serious issues were hmm. Monokuma shooting the yeah. principal up into a rocket and then coming back down. <laughs> Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why he would want to imprison us all here, with all, will that be enough to get us out of here? It's also good to note the fact that Monokuma has full control of the school right now. So there's no way he would have left this note on the counter mm -hmm. without knowing that we would see it. So right. this is also within his plan yeah. of like letting us see it. It's, it's, so it's kind of hard to gather information because of the fact that he's only giving us what he wants us to see. So, you know. Yeah. So we can only work off of what he gives us anyways, which is sort of like a, um, a, oh, what was, what, what is it called? It, uh, unreliable narrator. Right. That is, that is sort of what is going on here a little bit. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's going on on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. Wait, have we explored the second floor? It doesn't seem like we explored the second floor Well, yet. we explored the second floor. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. We're not even done here. We're oh, okay. definitely done here. I guess we're done here. We're then I done get there. We're, we didn't even finish exploring. I'm Makoto Naigi, and I decide when we're done. All we found was the pool and the library. That was it. <laughs> was was there not more in, in, maybe, in maybe the second story? Maybe that's pretty much it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? That's the weirdest. I thought I was having a stroke for him, <laughs> most of that sentence. Oh gosh, there's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool, and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however. Anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Or any kind of stage for me to sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till, wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and the warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. Ooh. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Yeah. Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... What? There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, not, not that I saw. I mean, he, he definitely would not give us a way to just escape. But there was food! <laughs> you people. What? Who gives a crap about the pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever? We're so trapped in this place. Er, yes, in this place. We need a way out now! <laughs> now, now. There's no point in taking your ink out on us. Adaption is key, yeah? But now we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. <laughs> yes, let us enjoy being trapped here uh, against our will by a cycle. Wasn't it good that wants when those people? Each other. Wasn't it good when Junko died? <laughs> yeah. Weren't we all happy? Pizza. Whatever you say, you loon. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you could dis if you should discover something. Well, we were in the mid you you were the one who called us here. We were in the middle we of the investigation. We definitely needed to get back. And then you just like interrupted us. So I thought the warehouse was cool, okay? So, are we done for today? But, yeah. yeah, I guess so. But, but warehouse though? <laughs> the air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Man, without th the three people that were here before, this room seems a lot emptier. <laughs> hey, but look at uh, what's his name's hair on the left. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know right? <laughs> Man, uh, he really loves changing that hairdo, huh? Yeah, he's changing it up, you know? He really loves changing around. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Probably. 
What was that? <laughs> dot dot dot. Zoom. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. But my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. <laughs> my life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? It's odd that that felt pointed at uh... <laughs> yeah, at someone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps someone in this room. <laughs> yeah. Guess once again, there's no choice but to go to the dining hall and get some grub. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day here. Post Peak Academy. Beautiful day. In the neighborhood. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> nope. Still waiting on Bayaka oh, and Taka. Not this again. We've already been through this once. This is like the same line before Sayaka died. There were like two people missing. Or no, no, oh, she was just I, missing. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were looking at me in a way that I had done something wrong, and I was yes, like, "Wait, what did I right. do wrong this, this time?" This is all your fault. <laughs> oh, turns out Marvin killed everybody. That's the plot twist. <laughs> yeah, it was me, guys. It was me. <laughs> yeah, knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is no, there is one problem, which is, I'm thirsty. Hey, come on. How the heck is that a, or, no, that's not, I, sorry, I started reading that, like, how the heck is that a problem? And then I was, I forgot that I was reading his line, whatever. <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make some tea? Huh? <laughs> milk tea, if you please. I don't know how to make milk tea. Whoa, I turned into Monokuma for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of a coffee shop I used to frequent. See, this is where, like, error in translation is a funny thing. Because milk tea, coffee shop, doesn't really make 100% sense. It's kind of a weird, weird one. That's Makes your... enough sense. Oh, I almost read that as her voice. <laughs> That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Ah, uh, you and me both. Uh, okay. Man, he just did it. Okay. I would have immediately Appa refused. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order. Hifumi sul skulked his way into the kitchen. A few minutes later... I promise it's not poisoned. <laughs> Thank you for waiting! <laughs> Fumi re reappeared with tray in hand, the ginger aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. <laughs> you could could have made something for, for the re rest of us, you know. You didn't have. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. That's not at all what he just said. <laughs> I am pathetically declined. You're not my type at all. Imp with your small hands. <laughs> Empathetically. <laughs> oh, is that what it's? Oh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> I just I can't, it changes the sentence like completely. <laughs> it makes it way funnier. I just pronounced the wrong result. <laughs> but it's way better. Mm -hmm. It's all about the law of ca casuality, basic instinct, act and react. What? Causality. I didn't say that right either. <laughs> no, I don't think it confused you. <laughs> I just can't say big words. But apparently. wait, here I'll show you how to say a big word. Grr. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Velden, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she... Why is it so poetic sometimes? It just catches me off guard. They want to create an atmosphere. Yeah, I know. Especially she for held what's the about to happen next. Delicately, delicately in her hand. I can't pronounce it either. Once again, oh. this is We Can't Read for about yeah. 30 minutes. She cocked her head to the side. And then cut her gun. I just straight up dead. <laughs> Does she just straight up dead? Does she dead now? 
Whoa. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Dang. Ouch. She's hard to please. What the? Hey, or the. Mm. Hey, hey, what are you doing? My, what? what? I am not saying that. My Discord kitten. <laughs> Just, you can cut that out as well. Just, that was just a inside joke, to be fair. Yeah, I hate this kind of tea. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine Vio at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday co cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They didn't ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, yeah. I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yeah? No. I I, I don't think they would. Would they? In coffee shops in uh, Germany, they give you a thing of water. They give you a cup of water with every coffee. Well, that's not milk, though. Yeah, but that's the closest thing I can think of. But this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be a part of the process from the outset. Then why are you complaining? The, frag the fragrance is just so overwhelming. Sweet, that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review that menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. This is such a uh, weird digression. Yeah, she's a little stuck up, huh? And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard. I'd have to go with yeah. wide-eyed bewilderment. <laughs> Mine isn't wild-eyed, wide-eyed, but it's still like bewilderment of just like, lady. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? Yeah, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it's, uh, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. Why? Is there a different process to it? I, when they say milk tea, I'm assuming that... that I, I kind of was assuming that they meant like boba. Not like tea just with milk in it, like a British tea. I, look, I know nothing about tea, so literally the only image I have in my mind is... Sweet they have tea, tea with milk. <laughs> they put some milk in it, and then they serve it to you. That's yeah. literally the only image I have in my mind right now. Is it is it like iced tea? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it might have some like ice, maybe ice in it, but I think it's served cold rather than it has ice in really? it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, because it's like the opposite. No, it's not served cold. Oh, really? It's, it's served warm hot? milk. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I think I think boba tea is cold, but I think milk tea, like British milk tea, I think is warm, and then just add milk to it. Ooh. Kind of in, the, in the same way people add coffee. Well, like I said, I, despite being and southern, I know nothing about yeah. tea because. You'll learn eventually. Yeah. You'll learn our ways. Well, I, I, actually, we don't drink hot tea really. In the south. That's true. It's mainly sweet tea, which is yeah, nice. that's true. Which for some reason I don't like. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I'm, I'm a I'm a terrible human being. All yeah, right. that's true. That's true. What's next? You don't like fried chicken? <laughs> I already said that it wasn't that I didn't like it. It's just uh, I didn't enjoy it as uh, much as other southern people do. Uh, what's next? Watermelon? Don't like that either, huh? I don't like. Oh my more. gosh! Oh, what am I dealing? I with? I can't things? escape my northern blood. Oh, oh, it's it's so rough. Okay, okay. Yeah, it takes more time to prepare, surely, but... If I even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest of quality? Um, well, we don't exactly have a menu. What? <laughs> Whoa! I knew it! I knew she was gonna get mad! Whoa! Uh, that does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I've asked for! It's fine! <laughs> I'd immediately just leave the room if she said that to me. Funny enough, Svein is actually how you say pig in German, so I feel, I want to feel like that's So a swine is- no, you know what, I'm not gonna ask, I'll ask you that later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go down on too much of a tangent. What? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a swine, yeah. It sounded like R2-D2 okay, falling. Your little piggy will bring it right now! Notice mm -hmm. that I said now instead of now <laughs> or out. I feel like that's how he said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do love coercion. You were like a totally different person right now. No, she isn't. <laughs> she looks about the same to me. I'm going to be completely honest. 
<laughs> yeah, true. I mean, it might be a poker face, but that poker face tells all. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be completely honest. She looks exactly the same. I have no difference of opinion in her. Still as creepy as all heck. I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. <laughs> or a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. The dining hall, do dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. Let me guess. It's not Taka. You're not going to believe this, guys! Oh, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> Somebody's dead. <laughs> but... Bad news, everybody. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? huh? What happened? It would seem... I don't even know. Be main cute. character syndrome. Yeah, main character syndrome. What would that be? MCS. <laughs> <laughs> Refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. That coward. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but maybe I'm worried something might have happened to him, and maybe I did it. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one who killed him. I don't know. Oh, we got music. <laughs> yes, the, the music, the music uh, that is going to chime our inevitable demise. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It means bring your coins for next time on a call arcade. <laughs> oh no, suspense. We might have another dead body on our hands. All right, oh. this was fast. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be honest, that was really yeah. fast. I vote that it's Leon again. Yeah.